The UK says it will loan Ukraine £2.26 billion as part of an international agreement to use profits from frozen Russian assets to help the country resist and rebuild. Rachel Reeves, British Treasury chief said the money will ensure that Russian assets frozen in Europe will be used to help fund the war effort in Ukraine. Reeves made the comments as she and British Defense Secretary John Healy met with Ukrainian soldiers being trained in the UK. The money is Britain's contribution to a $50 billion loan package agreed in June by the group of seven wealthy industrialized nations, with the money coming from interest on Russian central bank assets sitting frozen, mostly in Europe, since the invasion of Ukraine in 2022. However, making it happen has become bogged down because the Allies have not agreed on how to structure the loan. It's unclear how quickly the UK money will reach Ukraine. The British government said it would introduce domestic legislation in the coming weeks to enable the transfer of the new funds to Ukraine as quickly as possible. The money comes on top of Britain's £3 billion in annual support for Ukraine. Healy said the U.K. is using the corrupt money from Putin's own regime against him and putting it in the hands of Ukrainians to fight for their freedom. It's a huge honour to have the opportunity to meet Ukrainian soldiers who are being trained here in Britain and will return shortly to the front line. Today I'm able to announce £2.3 billion of support to Ukraine in the form of a loan that will be paid back by the extraordinary profits being made on frozen Russian assets. So this will ensure that Russian assets frozen in Europe that the extraordinary profits on that will be used to help fund the war effort in Ukraine. The UK and the defence of Europe starts in Ukraine. It could not be more important to us. Ukraine are on the front line against Russia's aggression, but they are defending all of Europe, including the United Kingdom. And this is just one way, on top of the support that we've already provided, of ensuring that Ukraine has the finances and the resources and the training to continue their fight. Slava Ukraini! Slava! This is billions of extra pounds that, as a UK Labour government, we're putting into the fight for Ukraine to protect its freedom uh, and its future. It will allow Ukraine to purchase a, a, the range of weapons and systems they need in order to defend their territory and fight for their future. There's only one nation waging war in Europe and that's Russia and its illegal invasion of Ukraine. Putin could stop this war tomorrow by pulling back. In the meantime, we will do everything we can to stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes. And this is a government that in the three months since the election has stepped up our support for Ukraine, made extra commitment, not just this year, but for future years. And here we're making announcement of billions more pounds in loans for Ukraine using the corrupt money from Putin's own regime against him and putting it in the hands of Ukrainians to fight for their freedom. Turkey said on Monday the death of a reclusive US-based Islamic cleric would not deter its fight against terrorism. Fethullah Gulen was a cleric who inspired a global social movement while facing accusations he masterminded a failed 2016 coup in his native Turkey. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said Gulen's death has been confirmed by Turkish intelligence sources. Fidan said that Gulen's death will not make us complacent or relaxed. 
This organization has been a threat rarely seen in the history of our nation, he added. Our nation, our state will continue to fight against this organization as they do with all kinds of terrorist organizations, Fidden stressed. He also called on Galen's followers to turn away from this treasonous wrong path. Galen spent the last decades of his life in self-exile, living on a gated compound in Pennsylvania's Pocono Mountains from where he continued to wield influence among his millions of followers in Turkey and throughout the world. He espoused a philosophy that blended Sufism, a mystical form of Islam, with staunch advocacy of democracy, education, science and interfaith dialogue. Gulen began as an ally of Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan, but became a foe. He called Erdogan an authoritarian bent on accumulating power and crushing dissent. Erdogan cast Gulen as a terrorist, accusing him of orchestrating the attempted military coup on the night of July 15, 2016, when factions within the military used tanks, warplanes and helicopters to try to overthrow Erdogan's government. Sayın Andris Bihaya Ankara'ya tekrar hoş FETÖ örgütü elebaşısının ölümünü istihbarat kaynaklarımızda doğruluyor. Bu karanlık örgütün lideri ölmüştür. Terörle mücadelede milletimizin kararlılığı devam edecektir. Bu ölüm haberi bizi hiçbir zaman için bir rehavete gevşemeye itmeyecektir. Bu örgüt milletimizin tarihinde türüne ender rastlanan bir tehdit odağı olmuştur. Enerji konusu da ikili işbirliğimizin önemli başlıkları arasında yer alıyor. Kendilerini gittikleri ihanet dolu bu yanlış yoldan vazgeçmeye, devletlerine, milletlerin aleyhine karşı çalışmaktan vazgeçmeye davet ediyorum. Bu yol iyi bir yol değil. Bu yolun sonu iyi bir son değil. Basın toplantımız sona ermiştir. Değerli bakanlarımızı fotoğraf çekimine davet ediyoruz.